What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got something really special here. We've got another Toyota product. If you've been watching the channel for a long time, you know how much I love Toyota. Uh, I've cataloged the Toyota Supra. I've done the Toyota Camry. I've done multiple RAV4s, love the RAV4. Um, and I just, just have a lot of good things to say about Toyota. And the reason being is because I think that the product that they provide, what they give you, the package that they give you versus price point, I think is just on point. What you actually get for your money, Toyota is doing really, really good things. So here we've got a Toyota Highlander. This is the launch edition. So it's coming in a celestial gray, a really nice looking gray with a beautiful cherry red interior. Um, it's an XSE um, all wheel drive. Okay, it starts at 42, uh, excuse me, 42,650. Okay, MPG, uh, we got 21 in the city, 29 on the highway. Seats seven people. Okay, uh, I'm taking a look at the, uh, the rims here. We're looking at 20 inch machine faced uh, alloys. Okay, it's got uh, sport tuned uh, independent McPherson strut front uh, suspension with a stabilizer bar. Uh, trailing wishbone suspension. It's got LED lights. Let's take a look here. Just gonna give you a quick little sort of rundown. I don't see any chrome, which is which is something I really really like. Only chrome piece is just on that that little light, um, that little um, signal indicator. Um, yeah, rims are looking really good, nice and, and girthy, 20 inches as I said. You get LED LED lights, right? Going around, right? Love the big Toyota logo. This one's actually coming from. Uh, Guelph Toyota, I really appreciate them uh, lending me the car for the day. But if you take a look, all everything is non-functional, which I can deal with, but in black, which is great. This is actually, this is very much functional, right? So you can see how the radiator's in there and all the air is coming through. Nice big Toyota logo, right? You get a light there. None of this is functional, but nice strong front grille, right? So the only model after this, the only one that I haven't cataloged on my channel yet is the Sequoia, which is just a little bit bigger, but this is a seven seater, right? This is something you can take a big family for a nice, nice long cruise. I've been driving this car for about a week and I've been really, really comfortable with it. It's, it's a great, great cruiser. Seats a lot of people comfortable, good suspension, right? It's got, a, it's got some pretty good pick up and go. Right, this one's got a 3.5 liter V6 engine, all wheel drive, right? So you're not gonna have trouble when you're in the snow or when you're in the wet, right? Three, uh, three zone climate control, smart key system. Um, it's, got, it's got a lot of stuff, power adjustable driver's seat. It's got all your USB ports, everything that you're gonna need, right? You come around, everything for, if you wanted to mount, mount some, uh, some bikes or some, some canoes or any of that jazz, has, has all that. Really like the styling here of this on the back. That's really, really cool, right? And they've integrated a, a rear uh, brake light as well. There's your um, windshield wiper. You can tell that it's, it's a launch edition because all the badges are nice and blacked out. I really, really like that. I'm not a big fan of chrome, unless it's really sort of tastefully done. Right, uh, you get your double exhaust, your dual exhaust pipes, right? Really, really nice. Um, your towing capacity stuff here, right? You could pop that off and you could get a, you get a trailer or something behind it, right? So if you've seen one Toyota, you've seen them all, there's the key, flip it around. Pretty straightforward, right? We hold this, we get the back gate opening, let it do its thing, everything's automatic, right? So, little bit of you can see how spacious it is, as, as spacious it is going all the way back you've got two seats here you've got another two captain's chairs you could get three people here you get one more person here but three seats basically another two captain's chairs and another two driver and passenger as well so this place is huge if you push these seats down so we could go ahead and push these down right now bang right down and down Right now we've got tons and tons of space and you're still seating four very, very comfortably. So everything's automatic, the gate, let's close that down, right? And let's take a look at the interior, which is a really, really cool place to be. All right, so coming into the interior and you can see right away how gorgeous the, um, the red interior is. Really, really nice two-tone leather, black with red, really tastefully done. 
a lot of times like even on Mercedes I've got a Mercedes and the red leather I don't really like it it's like it's not a dark cherry like this like Toyota's really doing well with their dark dark sort of cherry Lexus does another good job of it as well with just a dark dark sort of cherry looking red um, really really cool uh, we can open the the rear view or the sunlight uh, roof there let's pop this open All right and you can get a little idea here oh we got to hold it so we're holding that button bang and it's opening up bang there's one we can uh not sure what that's doing but yeah there, so there's our there's our roof right one thing i really don't like and if you watch my other videos this is my only issue with toyota is these kind of cheap um you know d digital sort of te technological or whatever you call them little sort of displays they look for me they look very very uh, sort of cheap what's different about this one is they've actually integrated all the climbing controls into the bottom of it so if you look at a RAV4 it's literally just this piece sitting up top this stuff is all down below so I actually like you can tell you're in something a little bit the product is a little more premium than uh than the RAV4 it's a little it's a model up it's a level up um I still think this looks a little bit cheap with the gloss black and everything uh, but in terms of functionality it, it does what it needs to to do right it gets you around it's pretty quick it's pretty user and uh, intuitive but if you take a look at that that's this just kind of looks old to me you know comparable to you know what the likes of like BMW and you know Audi and obviously those are German companies but like you know I, I can't speak to any really any other companies but I just feel like and, and correct me if I'm wrong in the comments but I feel like the the level of the bar is being set a little higher than this I feel like Toyota is lacking a little bit here but hey I mean if this is where they have to cut cost so they can give you all the beauty of this and and you know all of this and the nice soft touch leathers look at how beautiful the steering wheel is it's got all the commands here right you look around it's got everything you need beautiful beautiful leathers then I'm kind of okay with that. You know, you've got all your USB ports here. You've got tons and tons of space. If I give this a little open here, bang, I slide it open. That's your wireless charging port. I can pop that open as well. And I've got a bunch of space down there. A lot, a lot of space. This one's got traction control off button. It's got a snow mode. It's if you're on some hills, right? And you need to worry about that. Uh, it's got your start stop off. If you're really, really uh, thinking about, um, you know, conserving your gas. It's got a few drive modes. I don't think these drive modes are gonna to be too crazy, but sport's gonna give you a little bit more sort of throttle response there. A little bit more storage here, which is cool. A few other little things, right? It's a nice, it's a really nice place to be. A lot of space there. You take a look back, you got some more cup holders. You got a bunch of nice, comfortable captain's chairs back there, right? Really, really nice. The sound system pumps, right? It's pretty, pretty good. I wouldn't say it's up there with like, you know, the Burmeister or any of that, like, you know, 20 speakers in the in the cockpit, but it's it's definitely, uh, it definitely holds its own for for this price point. Uh, again, I, I, I really, really rate Toyota as a company and as a, as a company that's producing a lot of different products. I rate them really, really high. I've, you know, again, I've, I've tried a lot of different Toyota products and for the price, I think they just, they just knock it out of the park. I think they really, really offer quite a bit for for the price so i highly recommend this car um you know if you're in the market for something you know something that's efficient it's reliable it's comfortable and it's not going to knock your socks off price wise like like the germans do i think this is a really really good option it's going to give you a lot for your money um, so this is the 2022 um toyota highlander Okay, I think without further ado, we'll just, uh, we'll just pop the camera on here and we'll take it for a little drive and I'll give you my thoughts. Walking up to this beauty. Look at how good that SUV looks. Especially as the sun starts to go down a little bit. It's looking good. Really nice. Let's get some revs for you.
All right, so driving the 2022 Toyota Highlander. All right, and so again, I've had about a week of time with this thing and it's been a great car. It's really, really impressed me as, as, as do all Toyota products. Um, you know, this one, a little bit bigger than the Toyota RAV4, sitting a little bit higher up on the road, a little bit more space to bring a few more people with you nicer leathers here this is again the launch edition so we have we have a celestial gray with a deep cherry interior and i think that really makes a difference the leathers in here are very very high quality um really really good car um you know i feel high up on the road i don't feel like the car is is overly heavy it's a heavy car you know especially when it's full of people but it's got you know a six cylinder it's got a 3.5 liter engine it's got enough sort of pep to get you where you need to go. It doesn't feel lethargic, doesn't feel heavy. The steering, the, the seating position here, these captain chairs are very nice. If I look back here, I've got this, this nice seating position where I can get very comfortable for long roads. The wheel well is like very spacious, so I can get, uh, I can get very comfortable, I can get relaxed here. Um, you know, I would like some um, heated and cooled seats. I think we've got heated seats. I don't think we have ventilated, but I think that's just probably an option. Um, you've got all your memory, like your 20 way, whatever, uh, seating adjustment to make yourself really, really comfortable. Uh, but just looking around, I mean, the, the leather steering wheel wrapped really nicely. You've got a big command center here, um, you know, very spacious. One thing I noticed when I was turning this car is that the turning radius was really good comparable to the size of this car. It really turns on a dime, which is important when you're, you know, when you're maneuvering around parking lots or truck stops or, you know, when you're trying to get, um, you know, say you stop on a long road and you're, you need to get a cup, cup of coffee or some of that. Um, to, to be able to maneuver in and out or getting into your driveway and stuff like that is this, this thing does a real good job of that. Uh, throttle response when I hit it, pretty good it's just me in the car right now but it's got a lot of pick up and go for the size of the the, the vehicle um, it, it definitely doesn't have brakes that bite like crazy you have to kind of get into them you have to start getting your foot into it before it starts to bite but once you get to that what's called a friction point once you get your friction point it starts to clench and you can get the car the car stopping pretty quickly um, I like that I would like the friction point to be a little bit higher up but I do like how uh, they bite once you kind of get into them. Um, I do like the look of the, the Highlander. I don't think that there's a lot of other, you know, in a, in a market where, or in a segment where there's a lot of cars that look very similar to this one, or a lot of, they're, they're all kind of looking similar. I have this in sport mode actually, which is, it's giving me a lot more pep. Um, this one has a kind of like a little bit of its own sort of look to it. I like it, it's got a, it's got a nice sort of, we're bobbing and weaving here. Um, it's got some like a nice aggression to it. I really like it. So just getting on a highway here, I'm gonna give her a little some and it's, it goes. It's, you know, it's, it's pretty quick. It's pretty quick. If you need, if you need that power, it's there, it's gone. All right, so really impressed with the vehicle. Again, soft touch leathers, luxurious. When I look around for the price point, 45 and change. This one's optioned up, obviously it's the, um, launch edition so it's probably in and around i don't know exactly 47 48 um but you get a lot for your money here a lot for your money right you're, you're getting a nice big luxurious suv um i think the warranties on these are really really good um you know let's just take a turn here and, and test out it's sort of it's it's nimbleness right so coming around here just test out how uh Steering is a little bit soft. It could be a little bit tighter, but it's all right. Kind of takes the corners okay. Nothing crazy in terms of body roll, but I haven't really gotten into it. I imagine once I get into the, the, the turns a little bit, I'm gonna feel a little bit, you know, it's not meant to be composed uh, like a little sports car, right? So you're gonna feel a little bit of body roll, but this is a good sort of, you know, highway cruiser, right? You're going up to the cottage and you're doing a bunch of clicks on the, uh, you know, on the highway and you're just, you're sitting up high on the road. You can see everything that's, that's happening in front of you. You know, I've got, you've got a nice command center here. You know, your kids are in the back. They're very comfortable. They've got dual climate control. Um, it's a very, very nice place to be. So as with all Toyota products, I've been saying it from day one, I'll continue to say it. You know, the Supra was, was good. Obviously BMW components inside of it. Thought it was a real good car. 
um, you know, really, really cool in terms of styling and everything like that. RAV4 is probably one of the biggest, most desirable cars, the hybrid especially, most desirable cars on the market right now um, in terms of SUVs. The Camry, amazing sedan, good value for the money, very spacious, very capable in terms of performance. Um, so just just the whole lineup from Toyota has been it's been first class. It's been really really good. So if you're in the market for a vehicle, really vehicle of, of any any sorts, right? Anything that you're looking for. Um, obviously the the Sequoia is the only one that I haven't done. That's one step bigger. Probably a little bit more luxurious, uh, a little bit more spacious. Probably a little bit more um, power under the engine and stuff like that. Uh, but I give this high, high marks. I'm really, really impressed with everything that it can do. Um, and I think it's very good value for the money. So if you're in the market for, you know, you know we we'll call it a, a, a larger size um, SUV, um, I would definitely have a look at the, the Toyota Highlander. I think it's very, very good money for, um, or good product, good bang for your buck. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know, hit that like button. If you're already subscribed, really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. The, the, the channel's done a lot in the last little while. It's come a long way. Um, we're really, really, we're starting to get a lot of viewers. We're starting to get a lot of people who are, who are, who are constantly coming at me in the comments and adding value to the, uh, to the channel. If you feel like I've left something out in this, in this review, please let me know. Let me know. Is there some, um, are there options that I had that the, the, that this one is, is left out? Are there options that a, that a Highlander, um, buyer should definitely be aware of and should definitely be looking to add to their vehicle? Um, let me know. Let me know what your experiences have been with, with Toyota products. Um, or your, your Highlander in general. Um, share your experiences, share your thoughts. Uh, if you're subscribed, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. If you're not subscribed and you would like to do so, please hit that subscribe button, hit the all button. And uh, you know, I, I, uh, I value all your guys' time and I hope to see you guys all in the next video. All right, take it easy.